okay in this video I am going to show you how you can create a simple form a web page and use PHP code to handle it so we are going to create a form a very simple form and then I will show you how to write a simple PHP program to process it so we have a um, template for an HTML page right here and I'm going to add a form element okay with the form you know that you have to have action and method attributes uh, method can be either post or get and here I'm going to use post post means the information in this website will be sent to the server through an HTTP message so that is the post means get means it will be set sent as a string of uh, the element name and the value so I'm just going to use post and then the next attribute is action you should give a destination file that will process this file or it can be another HTML file saying that thank you or something like that or it can be an email uh, address so here I'm going to say that the information that I collect in this form is going to go to a PHP file that we will be writing soon um, and you know you will have code to process the information so action equals process dot PHP um, you can have the name if you would like for your form uh, form test uh, or something like that and an ID if you would like okay and then I'm going to uh, put a um, couple of uh, um, input fields for that uh, maybe I would say enter the first name and of course you know you need to use the input tag and uh, for the text box type equals text and then you need to have a name and ID name equals um, for first name I'm just going to call it F name and then ID the same name and then um, I'm going to put a uh, break tag so that uh, there will be some lines uh, between the next one so you have the input uh, text box and then I'm going to copy and paste uh, to have a couple more maybe one to get control C control V so another one to collect last name type is still text name I change it to L name for last name and then maybe one for email so I'm going to say email and you know that in HTML5 from your textbook you may have already looked at it there's a new type called email so I'm just using it as email and then the name I'm going to use is email and email let's uh, save this and how see how this form looks in Firefox uh, it's just pretty simple three text boxes and maybe let's add a comment area maybe a text area so I am going to say that comments um, and maybe a break there and then text area for you know uh, so that you can enter some comments in there and closing text area and then you would uh, then for the text area you need to give a name I'm going to say comment and then ID equals comment and then you need to say how many columns and rows columns I would say maybe 40 characters and then rows equals maybe seven or any rows that you would like so it would put a 
a text area let's see how it looks now it has a come a text area element there but you can uh, put some default text there if you, you can say that please enter your comments here so if I save it and um, look here you can see the default value is there you can of course need to fix your spelling right there all right now with any form if you want the information to be sent to the destination you have to have the submit button so a uh, submit button is again an input element and here you would say type equals submit and then I'm going to give a name uh, if you like you can put one submit uh, an ID you can even uh, submit and then don't forget the value value this is the value or text that would appear on your submit button so that is your submit and then I'm going to make a reset button so reset type is reset and then I'm going to give um, a name and then I'm going to give a value all right so let's see how it looks like so you have submit and reset maybe I should put a break before I have the submit and reset button so it will look uh, it will be below that now if you m want to make this uh, form you know looking maybe more professionally you can have a you can uh, put uh, cluster them together for example you can use the handy field set f i e l d field set attribute and um, you can put everything into one uh, make sure that you have the correct spelling here field set FI. all right and then the field set can have legend so legend and you put uh, you know what you want the legend to say or the you would say that um, contact in information so you have everything in a field set and the field set has a legend so if you look here you can see that you know this is the legend that we put in and then you see this border if you want to make it you know looking better you can simply go ahead and add a style here in the header area so I'm going to add style close tag and then I'm going to style the field set and for F I E L D field set here I'm going to say that I want to limit the width to maybe 400 pixel and uh, I want a border which is uh, 3 pixel solid red okay so let's see how it looks now so now you have a, a field set with the 400 pixel width and red and things like that so this is the so this is the form that I created now uh, in the next video I am going to show you how you can send it to uh, to a pro to process to process.php so we are going to write the PHP file and then uh, we are going to extract the information from the uh, from the form and you and then um, you can process your information